Hey lovies, welcome back to another video. It's your spiritual guide, Empress Meek, and I'm here to shine some light on your situations. Let's see what's going on for you for the remainder of March. Spirit, thank you so much for bringing me here with my collective. These videos resonate with all signs, all placements. Thank you for blocking and bonding on negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, anything that may be coming up against this channel or our lives. Thank you so much for abundance and overflow, victory in every situation, and messages of clarity, truth, love, and light. Amen. Hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes. Let's dive in. Show me clear messages, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for my collective. What's happening with the collective? So we got lack, confusion, thoughts. Somebody's isolating themselves possibly in deep thinking about a reunion, coming back together, soul ties. Somebody could be feeling like you're the one for them. Somebody could be in regret about something that they did, regret about this confusion. Somebody's missing you, okay? They're thinking about you, all right? Male or female energy, these videos are timeless. So whenever you see it is when you can apply it to your life. Um, and usually the, the time frame for the energy that I pull, a lot of times it's within two days if it hasn't already happened, okay? Because I tend to pull current energy. But um, this is, I did ask for the remainder of March, so let's see. All right, and there will be some type of communication. Somebody may reach out to you or somebody is feeling really bad about some type of communication that you all had. Um, since this is an ending, let's tap into the Love and War deck. Oh, somebody was wearing a mask, honey. Somebody wasn't showing their true selves. And I feel like you're very intuitive, collective. My collective lovies are intuitive. And the energy that's drawn to me is usually very intuitive, boss, intellectual type energy. Or you can have my other side, which is like a fun person. Um, somebody very down to earth. Somebody cooler than a breeze. You know, just down. Right? And either way, you're not the type of person that somebody should be trying to get over on or trick. I feel like you're very fair, very just, and I feel like whatever this person did, it didn't sit well with you because that's not how you move, all right? So let's go ahead and find out um, what Spirit wants you to know about this energy. This is my deck that I created, guys. If you're interested in the Love and War deck, you can order it on our website, closer, the number two, mydestiny.com, for the Love and War deck, okay? Um, and I made it a little more general, so it won't be just for um, breakup. There's some happy cards in here, too, but it really is geared toward the um, twin flame journey, um, divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, when you're having a breakup or if you just want to know what your person is thinking, like it matches these cards that fall out perfectly. So let's go ahead and dive in. Spirit for my collective lovies. All signs, all placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Why is lack here? Fresh start, new love, new romance, new fling. So somebody is feeling in lack and doubtful that they'll get this opportunity to see this through. I feel like somebody is somebody that you walked away from or somebody that's just not feeling it anymore. This connection feeling like it's not going to go anywhere. Somebody could feel like they messed things up. Okay. Show me the facade. Why is the facade here? Somebody is hiding the fact that they can't find anyone else who can make them feel like you can. They're wondering why. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, because I'm irreplaceable. You must not know about me. <laughs> okay, period. Somebody is hiding the fact that they're still having these feelings for you. Somebody who you may have walked away from. Fresh start, new love, new romance, new fling, doubt, and lack. Because they can't find anybody that matches your energy. They want somebody like you. All right, I see some growth in the summer or this person is hoping for growth in the summer with you. I'm ashamed of my choices in the past, afraid to confess my secrets. So this person wears a mask and pretend to be something they're not. But I feel like this person has done a lot of horrible things, probably to people. Whatever they've done, you'd walk away from them. You know, you would walk away from them. So they hid this from you. And so that's another part of it. They feel like you don't really know who they are. You know, so this gives people leeway to pretend to be something that they're not even more. You know what I mean? 
confusion, illusions, what's going on. I feel like you were looking at this person out of rose-colored glasses. Wow, this person is gay, bye, same-sex relationship. So this is something that this person was hiding from you also. This person was trying to pretend to be straight. Somebody is definitely into the same sex. And I feel like you could have found out about this. Comfort zone. This person has no remorse for what they did to you. So I feel like if they hurt you or misled you or hid the truth from you, they don't feel bad about it. They do this all the time. They can't let out who they really are. But I feel like this is some type of undercover person. Wow. Confusion and illusions. Let me see one more on this. Toxic relatives, family few, argue, arguing, gossip, and confusion. So there's a lot of toxicity around this person. Um, this person also hangs out with the wrong type of people. They give them bad advice and things like that. Thoughts, isolating. Wow. So it says every day, I wish that I could rewind time. I would cherish you. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Dealing or cheating with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So this could be a water sign. Or this person cheated on you with a water sign. Wow. And this person is hiding the same, some type of same-sex relationship. Mm. Messages and dreams. We fought so many times about you. I never should have let you walk away. So I feel like them and this person and whoever they were cheating with. Um, it's like they chose that person or they left with that person or focused on that person. Now they're thinking about getting back together with you. They want you to be open to receive them. I'm still tripping off the fact that they were hiding a same-sex relationship. I really lost myself after you left me. Illness, depression, and grief fell upon them. I feel like this person definitely had been going through karma and they still are. I know some of y'all are like, well, what the hell they want to come back to me for with all this going on? I mean, I know I will be asking that. But, um, yeah, that's what's happening here. And they want to come back. Soul ties, reunion. Why they want a reunion? What is happening? Somebody knows that you're single. Why are you single? You're so fine and amazing. I feel like they're in your business. Like, how the hell do they know? But I feel like for some of you, they're asking people about you. And some of you, you post on social media or on Facebook. You have your status as single or whatever the case may be. They don't see that you're with anybody. Celebration, gifts, and abundance. So this is saying, when you tell me no, LOL, off I go, there's hell to pay. So this person goes off, talks to other people, cheat. This person could have been doing that online. I put on a mask when I'm with you. This person is pretty reckless and carefree when um, they're with you. I mean, when they're not with you and this person was just pretending to be something that they're not. I'm trapped in a relationship that I don't want to be in. Mm. They want you to be open. Why? I constantly think about you and how good you made me feel. I was supposed to choose you. So look, celebration, gifts, and abundance. I feel like they. this is the energy that you carry, Collective. I feel like you're very abundant. You're always happy or you're finding a way to make the environment around you happy and fulfilling gifts and open to receive. This person sees you as very blessed. I mean, so blessed. They like It's like you covered in glitter. Like everything happens in your favor when it's time. Like you're always blessed. And this person knows that. This person says, I thought about everything you said to me. You were right all along. So I feel like you were trying to encourage this person. Not only that, you were trying to warn this person about what was out there. You were also trying to let this person know that this situation or this relationship between you and them was a divine one. All right. You try to let this person know that you two were divine counterparts. Okay. So I do see that here. Let's go ahead and move on. We're about to pull your tarot cards, loveies. Let's see what's happening and what our spirit wants to tell you. Um, this seems to be one person. This seems to be somebody that's in doubt that they will ever be able to have a fresh start with you. They're having a hard time finding someone to replace you. Um, the people that they're finding is not there. You have some big shoes to fill. I mean, they're not able to find a replacement. They're not able to find somebody that makes them feel like you do. These people don't take this person seriously. I feel like they see through their crap. And I feel like you gave this person an opportunity. Reunion, celebration, and air. So this person wants to reunite. They want to go out, have some fun. And they want to start talking again. Child. Whew. Do not. I know y'all like, oh, hell no, nah, man. <laughs> I 
let's see. Let me see what other cards we can pull. Spirit, show me some cards for the collective. Let's see what's going on for these last couple months. I mean, this last couple days in the month. Let's see. What type of energy is surrounding my collective ladies? All signs are placing spirit. What do you want them to know? Very soon you'll get the love that you are wanting to have. Getting engaged. I want to marry you. You are my world. I'm forever yours. Stop giving up. You're stuck with me. You don't have to be scared. I'm not like the others. Oh God, that just sounds scary in itself. Lord, what? <laughs> Somebody is telling you that they want to marry you. They want to be with you. You don't have to run from them. They're different. Should I stay or should I leave? This person is like, you're not giving me the time of day. What should I do? I mean, are you ever going to open up to me? Time to make a decision. The ball is in your court. <laughs> Collective, I feel like you're like, um, yeah, no. I don't, I don't want, I don't see no ball. Like, you're not trying to decide. You're like, no, leave me alone. Somebody is saying you're special. I love the way you treat me. Your actions speak. So I feel like you have showed this person a very loving side of you. And I feel like this person is hooked on you. My God. They don't want to let you go. They're confused. It says, what did I do wrong? I don't know. What did I do or how to fix it? Um, yes, they do know. They do know. They're confused though. Because they're thinking that they thought it was going to be easier to get back in your good graces. And I feel like this person just does things. And just forget. Like, what the hell? You don't remember whatever you did? I feel like somebody was very um, rude. Somebody disrespectful, sneaky, and hiding who they really are. You already knew that. Secret work lover. Wow. I secretly want you. It says, we can be a great team together. I love that you're smart and ambitious. So, somebody's keeping their eye on you and they like you. Some of y'all are going to meet a new work lover, okay? Somebody at your job. And for some of you, this is really going to work out. This person is going to really want you. They're going to want to be serious. They don't want you to give up on them. They want you to stick this out. Pampering. Self-love. Treat yourself. Take yourself on a date. Spirit is saying, take yourself out. Show yourself that you're proud of yourself. You know, for all of you that have been um, working hard and doing really well, moving up the um, ladder, changing your tax bracket, baby, making more money, ex selling okay for those of you who have been doing this treat yourself take yourself out show yourself how proud you are of yourself all right let's see what else what else is for the collective runner when i catch feelings i run or fall back i don't know what to expect i'm working on my issues okay so there's a runner here um this could be you collective or you're dealing with somebody that's a runner um you're trying to figure out should you stay around or should you leave or this person is trying to figure it out that's where this person went. If you're wondering why the sudden change and where they disappear to, they're scared because they really want you. You're special. Somebody has baby mama, baby daddy drama. It says family, kids, issues, child support, custody battles. Okay, so there's some type of drama here. And I feel like you're not sure if you want to be bothered with that. Then we got confused. What did I do wrong? I don't know how to fix it. Somebody, divine time and manifesting true love is coming sooner than you think, okay? So get ready. You have this love coming in, and I feel like it's going to catch you off guard, but it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. You're not going to expect this to be so serious. You're not going to expect for this to be so good, and you could meet this person online. This person could just speak to you out of nowhere, all right? Um, somebody also could be trying to make you jealous online. It's something that you may have missed online on somebody's page. This card is talking about me and I'm um, reading the comments. So pay attention to the comments. Wow. Let's see. What's going on with this energy? We want to know more. We need to know more. Let's see if we can pull some signs on these cards. Very soon. Getting engaged. I want to make. It says I want to marry you. You're my world. I'm forever yours. So somebody's going to be getting engaged soon. Show me this energy for the collective. Wow. Somebody's examining this op this um opportunity. Four of Cups. I feel like something good is gonna come out of it after you having to refuse offers and not really want somebody that's offering you an opportunity. I feel like something good is gonna come out of it. All of a sudden, God's gonna offer you something amazing. All right, four of cups energy. Stop giving up. 
don't be scared. I'm not like the others. Why is that here? There could be a opportunity. Um, there could be this opportunity that you're turning down. Um, you turn after turning down something or somebody turning you down. Now all of a sudden you have something bigger. Stop giving up. You don't have to be scared. I'm not like the others. Queen of Swords energy. Somebody got their sword out. You're like, look. I don't have time to play with you. I know my worth. I know my value. And I see too many red flags. I'm not dealing with it. So somebody is like, you see, this person telling you one thing, but you see another. So you're going to stay your ground. Continue to stay your ground. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's dealing with somebody where they want you to stop. Should I stay or should I leave? Somebody is all in their head. Can't sleep at night. They don't know what to do. They're like, should I hold on to this or not? Somebody really cares for you here. But they hit it. You're special. I love the way you treat me. Your actions speak. Six of Wands energy. A recognized victory. Somebody's friends are pushing them towards you. Telling them to find you. Go get you. Like, what did you do? These people think they're stupid for playing games with you. Confused. What did I do wrong? I don't know. They know. This person's thinking about coming towards you. But you see these two wands behind their back? That's what they did wrong. Lying, sneaking. You know, trying to play games. Three of Wands, waiting to be able to travel towards you, waiting for their ship to come in with you. They felt like they were almost there. It's like they almost had you fooled. That's what I feel. Secret work lover. Look, it's saying heartbreak here and high priestess. So a secret work lover, but three of swords is here. Use your intuition. This is going to just lead to heartbreak. Whoever's out there messing with a work lover, it's just going to lead to heartbreak, okay? And this could have something to do with a Pisces. Self-love, treat yourself, take yourself on a date. You've been working hard, baby. Look at this. Eight of Pentacles. This could be talking to a Virgo. Take yourself out on a date, Virgo. Whoever this is watching, you've been working really hard, putting, putting that work in. Um, working on yourself, working on your business, building. It's time for you to be proud of yourself. Take yourself out and show yourself a nice time. Pamper yourself. Runner. When I catch feelings, I run, I run or fall back. I don't know what to expect. Show me this runner energy. Death. Okay. This could be a Scorpio. Somebody's trans going through a transformation, spiritual transformation. They're trying to figure out what to do. I feel like somebody may have ended a relationship. Wheel of Fortune and the Sun, but it's in reverse. So I feel like when somebody starts to get happy or feeling these feelings, they pull back. I feel like this ruins a relationship. Yeah, because I feel like they feel this soulmate energy. They don't know what to do. Um, and then there's somebody that could be somebody returning from the past also. But the Sun in reverse is not very happy. This is a manipulator with this mama, daddy, baby, daddy drama. Somebody's trying to manipulate something or either you um, reveal this person's secrets. Look, you revealed that this person was a manipulator. Their secret got exposed. Yeah, so they're dealing, they're manipulating this child's mother or something. Could be a Leo, Sag, or Aries. Hmm. Worth the wait. I feel like you've been going through hell and back, so it's worth the wait. feel like you're going to be healed, restored. You're going to get everything back tenfold. Yeah, you're going to be healing from all this situations, healing from this. Wow. So you're going to be healing from all this. You're going to be healing from the heartbreak, four of swords. You're going to be healing from this conflict and fighting. You're going to be healing from being betrayed in a lover situation, somebody cheating, lying. You're going to heal from all this. It's going to be worth the wait. Whatever you get next is going to be worth the wait. You're going to be able to balance your life again. And you're going to be able to move on in calmer waters. So this is the good that's going to come out of this situation for you. So don't worry. Everything is going to work out just like it should. And let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you here. Show my collective Spirit what else they need to know about these situations surrounding them. It's a little bit of everything here. Don't forget to share this video, guys. 
rejection is actually divine protection so if you're feeling rejected by somebody especially this work situation don't worry about it you're saving yourself the heartbreak soulmate your soulmate loves accepts and respects you so somebody is with their soulmate this person is going to want to marry you or this is how you know when you're with your soulmate so if you're not feeling that it's not your soulmate look this friendship is leading to more so somebody that was dealing with someone it's getting serious okay true love wow this love is emotional physical and unconditional so somebody definitely here is about to come into having a true love or you're with your soulmate after feeling rejection i feel like um it's going to be worth the wait you're going to get your true love your soulmate and have a friendship that stands the test of time so i definitely feel this way um somebody feels remorse for the way they treated you and it's saying clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting okay so take some time out to do that collective focus on yourself love on yourself and let this energy um resolve time for you to heal and just take some time out for you i feel like you have something beautiful coming towards you it's going to be well worth the wait just clear your energy and let these people go, go. All right. I love you and I mean it. I will talk to y'all sooner than later. Thank you for being here. Book your reading with me at closer the number two my destiny.com or email me with questions about a reading at closer the number two my destiny the number one at gmail.com. Thank you guys. I love you. All right. Bye.